In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to optimize your Amazon listing. Now, one of the key takeaways with this is that this is AI based and it is not anybody reading this over. So it is your job as your Amazon seller to make sure that you reread this to make sure don't just take it from ChatGPT and take it right over to your Amazon listing. Make sure you reread it, proofread it, make sure it makes sense. Don't just rely on AI. AI is great. It's good for sparking ideas. It's great for things that you might miss, but it's not perfect. So like we talk about with the agency, use AI for your advantage, but do it with some manual intervention. That's what we do inside the agency is we don't just do AI. We do AI mixed with manual intervention. So let's jump in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a product title. All right. So I'm going to go, I've kind of already mapped this out. Like I always do. You guys know me. So write an Amazon listing title between 150 to 200 characters for my product here. And so I put the URL there. So I'll hit enter and it will pop up a title. Now pretty generic title. And it's just kind of taking into account what you have here. And then you can also say, give me five variations of this title, including these keywords. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my search term report. And if you guys have never seen me get a search term report, it's pretty easy. You just go to campaign manager, go to reports, download your search term report, and then organize it. So I've organized it in my portfolio for this product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the keywords. Don't worry about the ASINs that are kind of at the top here. So I organized it from most sales to least sales and we're going to copy those, take it back over to chat GPT, include the keywords. All right. So give me five variations of this title, including these keywords. And this is real time. I'm not actually going to pause the video or anything. I'm going to let you see it in real time. So you can see here that these are okay. They're not great product titles and you got to remember things like structure function claim. So this right here, sty is a structure function claim. So we can't have that in there. We can't have sty treatment. We can't have treatment in there at all. And so those are structure function claims with the FDA. So chat GPT doesn't know that, but this will give you ideas of what to do with your title. So now let's move on to bullets. So I already planned that out as well. So let me go do that. Okay. So here's my plan for the bullet, right? Five bullet points between 200 and 250 characters for this Amazon listing, and then it will have our URL and then bullet point format should be product benefit, not features followed by description with the features. So you never want to leave with features. So let's go back over to chat GPT. All right. So there's our five bullet points. And again, you'll have to make some corrections. Ours don't come in a hundred count. So that's kind of one error that it made. Um, and then anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, those will get you flagged on Amazon for a pesticide. So you got to be careful with those two words. And again, look for any claims. So let's add keywords now. So let's do that same thing. Go back to the search term report. We're just going to do the same thing we did up here. Give me five more. So give me five more variations with the following keywords. So again, right there, anti-inflammatory, reduced inflammation that might get you flagged for FDA structure function claims. So you gotta be careful with that. Again, effective side treatment, you got to be careful with that one too, just because of FDA structure function claims and reducing inflammation. So then we have our bullets. So you can take the combination of those two. You can figure out 
reword it a little bit, do whatever you need there. So now let's move on to the description. You can also do it for, you can do the same thing for A plus content as well. All right, so Amazon product description. Again, be careful with the word inflammation and styes right here. And again, sty and other eye irritations, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. then call to action at the end. That's pretty good. And then you could do that same thing that we did with the other places that we could put, include these keywords and rewrite this variation so you can get another variation of this. So that's one way to write a product description, product titles and product bullet with chat GPT. Now I wanna show you another tool that's going to make it even easier for you. And this is a tool that we just started using. So let me pull that up. So here we are inside of another tool that we just started using in the agency called Zan Guru. And what I'm going to do is show you how to use their keywords on fire tool mixed with their AI optimization tool, which is pretty, pretty slick. So let me show you that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over here to Amazon. I'm going to go to my main product. So what you'll see when we do this is that the Zanguru tool should pop up Let me make sure I have it going. What it's going to do here is it's going to pop in all the ASINs that are here. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unselect this, and then I'm going to just select a couple of these, including my own product. Let's just do eight. That should be good. I'm then going to copy those ASINs, copy selected ASINs. I'm going to come back over here to Zan Guru. I'm going to put all those into here. I'm going to put tea tree eyelid wipes. Just to title it. And we're going to run keyword analysis. Now that's going to take a little bit of time to work. And so then what we're going to do here is go over here to listing optimizer. Okay. We're going to do T tree eyelid wipes. Start new session. Click here. Then we're going to enter these ASINs. So we might have to enter them one at a time. We'll put ours in first. And then we'll put some of the other top ones. Over here to this plus. Go to Amazon product. Next one. This plus. Amazon product. Okay, and then it will start to analyze all of these. And it will give us a score based on that. Now what we can do here is add some keywords. And we're going to import it from keywords on fire and we're going to see if it's done yet. So it's not quite done yet. So we're going to wait, I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back when it's done. All right. You can see that that keyword research is now complete. So we're going to go back over here to listing optimizer. I'm going to go in here to tea tree eyelid wipes. And then we're going to add these keywords right here. So import from keywords on fire. We're going to search tea tree eyelid wipes. You can do strong or main, or you can just do all of them. We're going to load that. It's going to bring all those keywords in. And so now what you can see is it's going to give you a listing score. So this one's 13,000. This is ours, 13,448. Check out our competitors, 21,000. So what they're doing is they're using structure function claims, which is against the FDA for the words like dry eyes and blepharitis, which is why they're getting a higher score than us. And so they'll probably be suspended eventually, but they're getting away with it right now. Let's check out this one. 21,000, again, structure function claims, styes, blepharitis. Why do we can't use that? Because of, we just weren't allowed with our attorney. Same thing, tons of structure function claims, and they're not even that much higher than us. So then what you can do with this is you can create a whole new listing or you can optimize yours. So 
I can pull up my listing, Oop. come down here and we can AI generate a new listing. So you gotta be careful with this because again, it's gonna put in structure function claims to make your keywords more relevant. And then it also might put in your competitor's keywords. So you don't want your competitor brand name at the beginning of that. So you still have to be careful with AI. Remember, AI is a tool. It should not be used as the end all be all. Use it and then change it. So you can see that jumped our score up just by putting in those, those keywords, blepharitis. Um, there's another one, another one of ours that we don't wanna use. Competitor, sigh, dry eye relief. And so you can see that that really increased our optimization score. So you still have to be mindful. Now what you can do is you can actually create a whole listing as well. So let's do that. So we're gonna add a listing, AI generated, and this takes about 30 seconds. So let me pause the video again and we'll jump back into it. All right, so now we've generated our AI listing and you can see you're gonna to have to go through it again because again, tons of FDA structure function claims. Some of you guys might not have to deal with that, which is great. But if you do, then you have to, and it generates all the bullets for you, descriptions with the HTML tags. The only thing it does not generate is search terms. And then what you can do with search terms is you can just come up here. You can see these keyword scores. That's what it organizes it in. And then this is your, the number of competitors who have included this keyword in their listing. And then you can see right here, this is an exact match in the title or a broad match in the title, things like that. So what we can do is actually highlight all of these, or we could even change it to or, and then we'll go like this and we'll add it to our search terms. Once you see that, you'll see it's recalculating and it will jump up your search terms to 30,000, which is your listing scores in the top 9%, but your search terms now have about 650 in there. So we're just going to go through these and take out the end. Let's see what that gets us down to 198. So I took out too many, so you can go back in and change. Let's go to, let's go right here. We're down to 287, which is pretty close. And so now what I'm gonna do is just take out some of the ones that just don't need to be in there. 268, it's not for body, it is for humans. Tag, bulk, we're down to 254. We're not hypochlorous acids, so there you go. So now we're in there and you can see our score is still 28,000, which is much better than where we started. 24,000. So overall, great tool, not the end all be all tool. So make sure when you're playing with AI, you use it as a tool that it is. Don't use it as the end all be all. Use it as a tool, then manually intervene and change things as needed. And you can change it right in here inside of Zonguru. That's why I love this tool. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments down below. And we do, we are an affiliate for Zonguru because we started using them and we saw how powerful this tool was. We actually use this across all of our clients' accounts as well. And if you're interested in us managing your account and doing this with your account, head to ProfitablePineapple.com to check that out and apply to work for us. Also, don't be for, forget to join our free community, Profitable Pineapple Farm. You can, again, go to ProfitablePineapple.com and get a link to do that. And if you want us to do this AI audit on you for free, down in the comments down below, put in AI audit. AI audit, and we'll pick one lucky winner to get a free AI audit on their listing. And we'll do it with you on a video call. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Like this video. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. And that is why we created this channel. On top of Amazon PPC, we're gonna share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're gonna get there yet, but that's our goal and we wanna take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building in the Amazon PPC strategies.